Hello everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to make a blood orange cranberry sauce, a nice holiday side dish with a twist. Hello everyone, I'm Executive Chef Braden Shepard for Brightview Senior Living in Crofton, Maryland. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a blood orange cranberry sauce, simple and a nice step up from the traditional cans everybody likes to go and get from the store. To make this wonderful side dish, we need a few items. Cranberries, fresh or frozen, blood oranges, granulated sugar, and water. So our main ingredient, of course, are cranberries. You can do fresh, you can do frozen, they're not always in season. Freezer usually has them in any grocery store. Blood oranges, kind of seasonal, December through May. Uh, there are different types of blood oranges. I try to find the ones with more red coloring on the outside. It's gonna give it more of a crimson color on the inside most of the time. First thing we're gonna do, take our cranberries, put them into our pot. Gonna add our water. Doing one pound of cranberries to one cup of water to one cup of sugar. We're gonna put everything in. We're gonna turn the burner on low, and we're just gonna let her cook and simmer. So we'll start to see the cranberries pop when they're getting ready and closer to being done. So we've got our sugar, cranberries, and water in here. Had it on a medium high heat. We got a little bit of boiling going. Cranberries are all starting to break and separate. The skins are popping on them. Uh, they'll happen the same way, fresh or frozen. When about 70% of them broken like that, which looks like we're just about there. So our last step, second step, take our blood oranges. I've already peeled and cut them. I took and squeezed them. We got as much juice as I can in there because we want that juice. That's more flavor. That's just concentrate going back into here. We're gonna pour our oranges and our juice in. We're gonna bring it back up to medium high heat. We're gonna stir these in gently. A little more stir, so we're gonna get it back to where we were just about with the, the bubbling. We're gonna turn it down just a little bit, and we're gonna let the oranges cook, and we're gonna let everything heat up and get the flavors, the tangy, the tart from the blood oranges to go and infuse into the cranberry sauce. It won't take long, uh, 10 to 15 minutes at a little simmer. You'll see the oranges are gonna to start to look like they're getting cooked and wilted down or sauteed. That's what you wanna look for. So now that we've got to where we wanna go, we're gonna take it out of here, dump it into some other pans, put it in the refrigerator, and we're gonna let it get it chilled where it turns into that jelly that we always see in the can that jiggles when you come out of the store. All right, so we've had our cranberry sauce in our dish. We've had it in the fridge for about two hours. A little nice thing to do at the end to kind of finish it off. Save one of your oranges. Almost every kitchen at home's got some kind of a cheese grater, a microplaner, a zester. You can take one of your last oranges and just run it over that. Don't get the white. Stay with the dark colors. Inside here, the white and yellow, that's really bitter. That's not what we want. So keep spinning your orange. You run it over the top a couple times. Nice little beautiful garnish on the top. So there's blood orange cranberry sauce. Really hope you'll give the recipe a try for your family dinner this year and kick it up a notch. 